All Force Follow videos are in the public domain. To learn more or to donate, visit www.forcefollow.com. The shots that are going to be demonstrated in this video come from the book Billiards as it Should Be Played by Willie Hoppy. And this book will be difficult for you to find on the market because it's been out of print for very many years. So you might try going on the eBay to pick it up. Uh, these shots come from his section on three cushion. And these are just some of the shots that he diagrams and describes uh, that you should set up and learn uh, to give you a good overall understanding of pattern play in three cushion billiards. For each shot, I have a cue ball in the lower left-hand part of the screen. For shot one, uh, you would be using left English uh, to execute the shot. Now, I'm not really going to describe uh, how to aim or how much speed to use uh, because that's very subjective. It's very hard to describe and communicate effectively in a video or a book. These are things you're just going to have to take to the table, uh, get a kind of a rough idea of what to do, and just learn it by trial and error. In shot two, you're going to use slight right English, and this is going to be about a quarter ball hit. In shot three, you're going to hit the object ball thin, and you're going to use some right English, and then you're going to employ a hard stroke because you're going to be traveling the cue ball quite a distance in this shot. In shot four, you're going to strike the cue ball dead center and you're going to employ a moderate stroke. There's no English on this shot and as you see here it's a rail first shot. And shot five, this is another quarter ball hit. You're going to strike the cue ball above center and use right English and you're going to employ a moderate stroke. In shot six, you're going to hit center cue ball and with a little left English. And then you're going to employ a harder stroke, what he describes as a moderate hard stroke, because you're going to be traveling the cue ball quite a distance in this shot. For shot seven, uh, it's going to be a quarter ball hit. And then you're going to strike the cue ball below center with slight right English. And you're going to employ a moderate hard stroke. Shot eight is a three-quarter ball hit. Uh, you're going to strike the cue ball center with some right English. And you'll be stunning the cue ball down to the short rail, and then the running English uh, from the right English that you use will bring the cue ball back around for the carom ball. In shot nine, uh, you're going to strike the cue ball in the center uh, with some left English, and you're going to employ a moderate stroke. These are one of the easier shots uh, to execute out of this group. Uh, my shooter here did this on the very first attempt. 
For the making of this video, I would like to acknowledge and thank uh, three people. First, I'd like to thank my good buddy Shane for agreeing to do the shooting while I did the filming. I would like to thank Timo, the owner and operator of U.S. Billiards in Houston, Texas. Uh, he has a great place in North Houston with three exquisite uh, Gabriel's tables with a heated slate bed and fine Simona's cloth. And I would like to also thank Bob Byrne. Uh, he was the author of Byrne's New Standard Book of Pool and Billiards. Uh, he was really the first author that I read when I started getting into billiards, and I really credit him with kind of making me a student of the game, making me appreciate uh, billiards for the way it should be played and not just as uh, barroom amusement. So I'd really like to thank Bob Byrne and encourage you to uh, buy his book and check out his work. In the sidebar, I'm leaving a link to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Uh, by going to their website and donating to this institution, uh, what you're doing is assisting families uh, with the treatment of their children who have various forms of pediatric cancer. And what you're also doing is contributing to research efforts to find uh, treatments for various forms of pediatric cancer that medical science has simply not found an effective treatment for yet. So you can rest assured that your money is being put to good use because this is one of the more reputable charities uh, anywhere in the world.